Hi, I'm Michael Despezio, and as you know, the Next Generation Science Standards places greater emphasis on the discipline of engineering. And you can find that in the philosophy of NGSS. You can also see that in the science and engineering practices. You can also find that in the DCIs and also among the performance expectations. So engineering is here to stay and I have a great activity to show you which you can do with your students and have them engineer simple devices, paper airplanes, and re-engineer them, which is all part of that engineering design process to improve their performance. Okay, what do you need? Hey, simple. All you need are sheets of paper. And uh, you can use scrap paper. You can also use graph paper because later on you can use those boxes to measure the size of wings and you can quantify that surface area and associate that with the performance of these paper airplanes. Okay, the design I'd like to show you is an atypical design. And it's important not to do the typical dart gliders that many of the boys, as opposed to girls, have had experience with. You want to place boys and girls on an equal experiential basis. So give them a totally different design. And the design I'm going to show you involves a single sheet of paper. Okay, here's what you need to do. Place the paper down, hold it, portrait. That's portrait. Hold it, portrait, orientation, and begin folding it. You want to roll fold it back from the edge and we're going to roll fold it just like this okay we'll roll fold it back so about half of the paper is folded up and it now looks like this next step is we're going to place a fold right along that central crease so we're going to fold it just like that And we have a fold right there in that central crease going right down the middle. Next step is we're going to need to fold out wings from either side of that glider. So we'll fold out a wing from one side and maybe about an inch or so from that bottom line. We'll fold it up just like that. And you can see it right here on one side. And we'll repeat that fold on the far side. And here we have our glider. Simple, easy to build. And when the students begin to launch this, remember this is a push glider, so they're going to hold it right behind those front folds, push it off, and it should fly well. If it doesn't, they may need to do adjustments. Well, what adjustments can they do? This design is perfect for that. Well, if their aircraft seems to crash, it does not have enough lift. And to increase the lift of one of these designs, all you do is unfold that central folded area of the craft. So you create a larger wing. Suppose you release this and it climbed too steeply and then stalled and crashed. Well, another problem is too much lift. How might you reduce the lift? Easy, just fold back that leading edge. Okay, now that you've got an idea of how this all works, it's up to you to bring it into your classroom. And me, I'm just going to have some fun.